Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Mana. Let's turn it up a bit so you can actually hear the game. Alright, in the last episode we got to Lake Kioma and started the Gorgon High. Um, I did a little bit of changing off screen. I still have the same weapons, but I bought, to, or made I should say, three new instruments. Some people have been asking me to uh, show off some magic, basically, ever since the first Let's Play. So, here's one of them, the Ramar Flute, which is Salamander. Um, in here in Lake Kilma, the uh, higher mana is the Dryad, and I'll show that one right now. Actually, no, it won't. That's known. It takes me a second to remember which one's which, but you can just see the power. Okay, maybe not. The power that it has here compared to all the other ones, even though it is a weak. Okay, that was a bad example because apparently this thing doesn't mind fire <laughs> or Dryad, I should say. That barely hurt it, but sometimes you'll see me one-shot them just because. Anyway, it's a whole new week now, and we're doing the Lake Kilma story, and a bunch of false copywriting has been done the past couple days. Uh, NCS, Nintendo Capri Sun, has been suspended. Not banned, but suspended. Off of YouTube for a little bit. <clears throat> I also kept the Fool's Play, just in case I... That's my strongest one, I think, and right now I'm taking it up the ass. Okay. I'm gonna burn one of them. Um, yeah, there was a lot of drama over that the past couple of days. Depending on the instrument that you use, you can see that in the, uh, just the spell in general, you can see that the spell has different, like, attack patterns, areas of effect, that's the word to say, areas of effect. Um, hey, it's Tote. Now, you might have remembered in the last episode, or whichever episode we got Bud and Lisa, um, the, when I got Bud, that started the Seven Wisdoms. Well, Mr. Tote, or Tote, or Tootie, right here, is one of those Seven Wisdoms. Oh, we got something from that chest, but I don't remember what it said. Anyway, but yeah, with the whole false copywriting, Nintendo Capri Sun unfortunately got banned. Um, a few, I don't I don't know what I just said yes to. Oh, seeing the fairies here, and we get to see fairies, yay, I don't care to talk to them. But, uh, a few other people got banned, such as the Archfiend, and just a bunch of accounts that really didn't deserve to be suspended, got suspended. And it really sucked because, you know, I for one watched most of the Archfiend's videos and all of Nintendo Capri Sun's videos every day, so, you know, that, it's, been, it's been a weird week not waking up and watching my regular Let's Play videos from my, from the people that I'm subscribed to. And, uh, you know, it just, it really sucks, but hopefully the dude who did copyright Floss Flag Hopefully, YouTube fixes their issue. Hopefully, that dude gets fined. I don't. I, I highly doubt he would get jail time for that. But if it did go further, it is illegal what he is doing. Although, what Nintendo Capri Sun is doing, what every Let's Player is doing, is a violation of copyright. YouTube doesn't care about it as much. Some people would argue that Let's Playing falls under fair use people who say that don't know what fair use is, I'm sorry, but Let's Playing is a violation of copyright, however, what that one, whoever sus got Nintendo Capri Sun suspended, uh, was falsely flagging because, obviously, he's not a video game company. He's just somebody bitter because one of his videos got falsely flagged, so he feels like taking it out on others, uh, by falsely flagging them. Uh, does that make sense? No. Oh, by the way, the levels here are about level 30, so we're starting to get on up there a little bit. While there, it's not really a no future mode or whatever, nightmare mode, that's what I'm saying. While, it, while it's not really a nightmare right now, you can tell in the later episodes, it's going to get a little tough. And we caught up with the captain. But yeah, um, let, me, let me try to quickly define fair use. Fair use is... 
in the copyright in the United States copyright laws. Um, it pertains to uh, commentary over copyright, parodies, stuff like that. Um, you know, using someone else's material, but using a copyrighted material, but adding your touch on it to like either review a product, to you know tell about it, tell how much it sucks, make fun of it in a way. Um, just something like that. Advertising, if you will. And Let's Playing it, or Let's Playing is a violation of copyright that does not is not entitled to the fair use defense, unfortunately. Reason being is the fair use thing covers limited copyrighted material in your work if that makes sense. Like, let, I'm let's playing this game. I am using copyrighted material with my commentary. However, I would have to, if, if a video game company, and a real one, not falsely flagged, if a, wow, I'm stunned. Okay, there we go. If a video game company that was, you know, actually legit said, this is annoying as hell, I can't wait for that sound to stop. If they said that my material was a violation of copyright, and I decided to say fair use, they would simply say it doesn't, or it, it is too much copyright, if that makes sense. It's not under the limited definition. Now, it all depends on that video game company's definition of limited. Um, some, I mean, I'm sure some video game companies know about Let's Play, and that's a good thing, really. But some might not, and some might not find it a good thing, and, you know, they flag it, they copyright it, they say why, you try to use the defense, and they say it is too much of their copyrighted material. And instantly, your defense for fair use is out of the picture. Now, you might ask, this is going into, you know, legal, actual legal shit, I don't, I couldn't say anything. You'd probably say, I couldn't say anything. Well, I hate to say this to you, and I try not to sound arrogant. And I'm, people who know me enough to know, I, I do have a little ego, but I'm not arrogant. And I say this because I am a criminal justice major about to graduate with a bachelor's in criminal justice. I have studied copyright law. I have, I have had two weeks dedicated to fair use. I've had two classes, which is, you know, a full year, uh, not to mention a higher up copyright class, dedicated to copyright infringement, or copyright law, I should say. Um, infringement, obviously, being in there as well, being the major part of it. And so this fairy blasts the captain, and he is now, or she is now, or whoever the captain is, I'm assuming it's a male, but I've never seen its private parts, is now turned to stone as well. So let's talk to Toadie again. Anyway, that's what fair use is. <laughs> Sorry for lecturing y'all, this isn't quite the most entertaining conversation, but hey, it needs to be talked about. I also said in the last episode, or maybe the second episode, yeah, the second episode, somebody uh, posted a comment asking, you know, this this seems to be my game, he said, and I can't remember who it is, and I'm sorry for forgetting who said it, um, but they asked, what got me started on this game, basically? How do I know it so well? Well, before Let's Playing, it, it existed in my mind. Back when I, back when this game first came out, I should say, around 2000, uh, I think. I can check. I don't know where the case is. Actually, yeah, dude, hang on. Yes, I have this game in real life. I'm not playing the CD-ROM because that's what brought a lot of lag issues in the last Let's Play, but yeah, uh, this game came out in 1999-2000, so right around there. Copyright 1999-2000, so yeah. Um, so about 10 to 11 years ago, I first got this game. I, I loved Secret of Mana, and I knew that this was made by Square Soft at the time, yeah, Square Soft. And it was a mana game, so I was like, well, this might be like Secret of Mana. And, you know, I mean, it's got elements and stuff like that from Secret of Mana, such as the, the elements, like Shade and Dryad and all that shit. 
And, uh, well, I got it, and I played it, and I loved it. Now, I never played through, and if you watch my last Let's Play, I never played through the New Game Pluses, because I never knew about them. But I played through it another time, and it got easier, and I learned places better. And the next thing I know, it's... My screen goes blank. The next thing I know, i got to turn that off before the next episode, it's... 2008, or, yeah, 2008, and I'm doing a Let's Play on the game that I've played about half a dozen times now. This will be probably number seven or eight time that I've played this game. By the way, this is the Gorgon Eye, level 30. Um, I'm talking more about whatever I'm talking about instead of the actual video, but, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to finish that, or this fight. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. This has been the Tiger's Ear signing off of a very strange episode of Let's Play Legend of Mana again. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.